keep your motorcycle performing at its best, free movement of the rear wheel is key. To ensure this, you need to grease the rear axle of the bike at regular intervals. Let's take a look at how this is done. First, ensure you have the following tools. A 6mm Allen key, a 24mm combination ring spanner, a general screwdriver and an extension tube. These are available in your motorcycle toolkit. Additionally, you will also need a tapping mallet and a can of semi-solid grease. First, ensure that the motorcycle is in an upright position on a firm and flat surface. Take a note of the alignment markings on both the sides of the swing arm. With the 24mm spanner attached to the extension tube, loosen the spindle nut while you hold it with a screwdriver from the left side. Remove the plain washer and the spindle nut and keep them aside safely. As you push the wheel gently for support, pull the spindle out of its position with the help of the screwdriver. Plug out the brake hose and ABS cable from the swing arm clips. Place a clean and dry cloth on the silencer. Slide out the caliper reaction bracket and place it very gently on the cloth. Place a cardboard sheet between the brakes to prevent any damage. Now pull the spindle out completely, keeping your hand on the wheel. Remove the left hand side and right hand side chain adjusters from the swing arm. Remove the left hand side spacer from the sprocket and keep it aside safely. Now remove the drive chain from the sprocket and place the sprocket on a clean surface. Now ask a friend to slightly tilt the motorcycle to the left side while it is still on the center stand and then you can roll out the wheel assembly. Remove the right hand side spacer from the wheel and keep it aside on a clean surface. Remember not to place the wheel assembly facing disc plate downwards to prevent any damage on the disc plate and wheel. Also, do not press the rear brake lever when the wheel is removed from the motorcycle. To refit the rear wheel, start by cleaning the right hand side and left hand side spacers and then placing it on the wheel hub. Now tilt the motorcycle on the left hand side and gently roll in the rear wheel. Make sure the rear shocker mounting bolt is not coming in contact with the disc surface while sliding the wheel assembly. Insert the drive chain onto the rear sprocket followed by the left hand and right hand chain adjusters. Apply a thin film of semi-solid grease on the spindle uniformly. Lift up the wheel assembly so that the swing arm and chain adjusters are on the same axis. While you lift the wheel with your right hand, gently push the spindle into the swing arm eye. Remove the cardboard that was previously placed between the brake pads. Locate the spigot housing at the back of the right hand swing arm. Gently slide in the caliper bracket till it achieves a proper fit.
Now tap the spindle gently with the mallet till it comes out of the other side. Place the flat washer, spindle nut and tighten it with the hand for a few threads. Tighten the spindle nut fully as you hold the spindle from the other side. Tighten the left hand side and right hand side chain adjusters for initial few threads using a 6mm Allen key till the initial alignment markings are achieved. You might have to adjust the chain play. To learn how to, refer to the chain play adjustment tutorial. The rear wheel is completely fixed now. It is ready for a long ride. However, do visit a Royal Enfield Service Centre to get the bolts tightened to the recommended torque. Keep riding!